What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're here in this video, I'm warning you. I'm going to show you the drains from my recent breast augmentation. So if that gives you out or you have no interest in this, then definitely don't watch this video. Um, I'm not gonna encourage you to watch this. If you're going to be having breast augmentation and you are curious about the drains, um, typically not in your first surgery, but definitely if you have a second surgery, um, I've heard people with tummy tucks having them. They're pretty common, so I thought it was a good idea to show you guys you know, how they're used and what they look like. And they're not really that scary. They're kind of, they're a little bit bulky in a sense where you can see them. I mean, you can even see them now in my clothes. Um, they're there, so they're not fun, but they are manageable. And I mean, maybe I'll even give you guys a little bit of of tips and tricks on how to, once you feel up to it, how to kind of function through daily life with them. But right now I'm just gonna show you what they look like. And I'm not gonna be very vulgar with it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you. So I have them actually clipped to my bra. That's just a little clip. It's just a clip, okay. And all I have to do is open this and then dump it. And that's it. And I can also pull on the line gently and bring whatever fluid's left, okay? And then I squeeze it nice and tight and re-clamp it once it's emptied. And I then clip it back to my bra and then I'm all set. So basically I have a hole on each side. And so it's a separate line obviously on each side. I have another drain on the opposite side. So I go through the same process every day and I write down how much how many cc's of liquid I'm collecting in the in the drain itself. So I write it down twice a day. Um, actually, yesterday and today, I've only written it down once because there's not really much left. I have, my daughter said, I have three sleeps until I get the drains taken out. So I have a couple days left and then I have no more drains. So I had a function today and one trick I can give you is these um, shirts are nice and baggy I guess where the sleeves are um, like they're tight fitted here and they come out and like they're kind of loose it definitely helps it gives you a little bit more playroom so you can't really see them I've been wearing a lot of sweatshirts um, zip ups are key make sure you have zip ups if you go in for breast augmentation they're great because it keeps you comfortable easily accessible and you don't have to go crazy with your arms but it also doubles as if you leave it zipped up zipped zipper open um, it just kind of gives you a little bit more hanging on each side and it camouflages the fact that you have anything going on. So I was actually wearing a nice tank top the other day, which if I took off the sweatshirt, the zip up hoodie, you would have seen it, seen the drains, but I didn't. I had a nice light zip up on and I left it open and it, I looked normal. I looked totally normal. So there are little things you could do to camouflage. Another thing I've been doing is wearing scarves this week. <laughs> just kind of draping them over and you can't really see the drains too much. So as much as they're a pain in the butt, just because they're different and they're, they're there, um, they are manageable, they're totally manageable. So, and they're worth it. They take the fluid out, which reduces your swelling. So it's definitely worth having the drains in for a better finished product. So I have, like I said, three sleeps left and I am incredibly happy with the product right now. So um, I hope this was informative. I hope you found this helpful and I hope that it made you maybe, if you were nervous about this, about the drains, I hope it made you a little bit less scared because they're not that big a deal. Pain in the butt, yes. Big deal, not really. They're totally manageable and you can totally do it, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video and check back with me soon because I'm gonna be posting my weekly vlogs post breast augmentation. Bye guys.